Welcome back to Vlogtober. Today we're talking all about our favorite fall candles. So I love candles, everybody loves candles, but the thing that's weird for me about candles is, in case you didn't know, I have absolutely no sense of smell. Can't smell anything. Never been able to smell, don't remember being able to smell, can't, I can't do it. So and my sister can't smell either, so I don't know what our deal is, but anyway, I can't smell. So I do love candles, but for different reasons than most people do because I can't smell them. I just like the way that they look that, you know, like the flickering of candles. It's very cozy to me, I think. It makes a nice atmosphere. And I like that it makes my house smell, smell nice for other people. I like it when someone walks in and they say, oh, it smells really good in here. I'm like, yes. It's almost like, you know, if you're blind and you were able to decorate something really nicely without seeing it, you know, it's like, score, my house smells good. And I didn't even do that. My favorite, because I like the flickering, are the three wick candles from Bath and Body Works. This is actually a market peach candle that I'm finishing up from the summertime. So I have a little bit left and these burn forever and they're so nice. Um, I feel like they're kind of expensive. So I only get them when they're on sale for like 11 or $12 and then they last for so, so long. So I really like this one. And I was gonna repurchase my favorite fall three wick candle from Bath and Body Works, which is the, um, peach bellini and I like that they have like descriptions on the bottom of the candle so that I know what it smells like because candles that don't have flavor descriptions whatever scent descriptions I'm just lost so like this one says it has vanilla citrus and raspberry so I can kind of know if I'm wanting to give off a certain feel then I can burn that candle and I like the peach bellini one because it has like pear and cranberry with the peaches so it's kind of like a end of summer fall kind of thing and the one I had last year came in a really cool container that was like orange and gold and it just looked very fallish and metallic I really liked it so I was gonna purchase that one but I ended up not having to because my husband came home last night with this candle from Yankee Candle Company which he's not one to come home with candles except for the fact that um, somebody at work where he works their child was selling these for a school fundraiser and he is a major 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 softy for children and their fundraisers we always have all those like coupon books for restaurants that no one ever eats at we always have those and now we have this he's just very nice so if your kids are selling something go find my husband he'll buy it from them so anyway I'm very excited about this candle even though he paid way more than I would pay for it but anyway we help some kid with some fundraiser so whatever it's called cherries on snow I have no idea what it smells like but I know that these are good candles I don't like to buy candles like at TJ Maxx on the clearance in caps or at Target because I don't know what they smell like and it's not always a consistent smell but I feel like Bath and Body Works Yankee Candle Company they're always like consistently they smell the same so I know my mom really likes these candles and my friend Lauren does too so I trust their scent ability so hopefully this one will be nice um, and then also during fall I like to just burn little like votive candles around because again I can't smell them but I like the way they look so I like to just kind of have them especially if I'm having company or something I like to have one burning in the guest bathroom or just around the house um, a lot of times I burn them in the evening just when it's just Paul and I just because it's kind of cozy um, when we lived in our first apartment it was real ugly and all the furniture was already it was a furnished apartment the furniture was really ugly and we couldn't change it we weren't allowed to change it so a lot of times in the evening I would just turn all the lights we had a dimmer switch for our overhead lights I turned them way down and just put candles everywhere just to kind of make it cozy and so you couldn't see the ugly furniture so that's when I got into votives so my favorite ones to get are these from Dollar General they're the whatever their brand is this is called perfect harvest and they were $1.50 um, regular price and I think I got these last year at the end of the season when they were on clearance I think I paid like a dollar for these and it has six in the box and they're pretty good size little tea lights like that um, so I like to burn them in different little votive holders. I got these last year, again at Dollar General. I love Dollar General. Um, these were a dollar. These cute little leaf ones. I have two of them. And they're like a dark red. And I use these in my Thanksgiving tablescape. That I have a blog post for that I can look at down below so you can see how these looked on my table. They were really pretty. Um, and these look really nice on a table. And then I also like to burn them in things like this. I got this one at Target on clearance. <laughs> That's funny, you can see me through it. Hello! <laughs> um, I think I got this for like 50 cents last year on clearance. And I like it because it's turquoise and so it matches my living room. I have this burning in my office right now and I put this as a different, this is like apple cinnamon I think from Dollar General as well. So 
that's what I like to do with candles. I just like to have them around burning different places and I just enjoy the flickering and let everyone else enjoy the scent. So <laughs> um, those are my favorite fall candles. But there was something else I wanted to talk about as we talk about candles and light. Um, our pastor has been preaching a really good sermon series on Sunday mornings about our purpose in life as Christians. And I'm a Christian, I'm a believer, which just means that I've been forgiven and that I've accepted what Christ did for me on the cross as payment for my sin. And that has brought a big difference in the way that I live my life because of what he's done for me. And so Jesus said in Matthew, you are the light of the world. A city that's set on a hill cannot be hid. We're not supposed to hide our light under a bushel like the old song that we used to sing. Like that says, we're supposed to let it shine. And that's our purpose as Christians. No matter what you do on the daily, your purpose as a Christian is to show others Christ in the way that you live your life. So as you go through your day, whether you are at home with your children, whether you live by yourself, um, and you work from home, whether you work with a lot of people, whether you work with Christians, with people who don't know the Lord, no matter what you do, if you are able to, in your actions, in the way that you respond to other people, the way that you respond to conflict or difficulty, the way that you deal, um, do your job, your work ethic, all those things, if you show others Christ, if in the way that you act, you point them to Him, um, if there's a situation that comes up that you could offer some kind of comfort or encouragement if you do so from the scripture, sharing with them something that God has taught you. Any of those things are showing Christ to other people and reflecting his light. And if you're able to do that during the day, no matter who you're with, um, then you have been successful. My husband works in sales right now and sometimes he'll come home from work at the end of the day very discouraged because he didn't sell anything that day. And he'll say, oh, this day was a total failure. This was a fail day. I what didn't I didn't sell anything, and I'm able to remind him. Were you honest? Were you kind? Did you encourage someone? Did you act the way that a Christian should act? Did you show others Christ in your actions? Then yeah, you were successful today. Maybe you didn't make any extra money, but you were successful because that is ultimately our goal as Christians is to point others to Christ. And the same goes for me. Um, I don't make a lot of money with what I do. <laughs> I don't get a lot of recognition, but that doesn't matter. If I show Christ in my actions, that makes me successful at the end of the day. So even if you spend your whole day changing diapers and picking up soggy Cheerios, whatever it is that you do, if you're able to show Christ to others through the way that you live your life, if you reflect him, then you are successful. So when you see a candle, when you see um, the flickering, because you know, that's what's important, not what it smells like. <laughs> Uh, I hope that you'll be encouraged that your purpose in life is to reflect Christ's light and to show his light to others. So that's it for today's Vlogtober. Thank you so much for joining me, for watching along with me this month. You can see the rest of my Vlogtober videos down below. And I also will add the links to the other ladies that are joining me for Vlogtober. Be sure to check those out as well. Hope you all are having a great weekend or week or whatever day it is that you're watching this. And I'll see you next time. Bye!